Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a super quick, super easy beginner's tutorial on colour grading in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to patronise you so much and treat you as if you know absolutely nothing about colour grading. You've opened up DaVinci for the first time and you just want to make your footage look better. Without any more waffle, let's get into it. I've got the footage from this video right here. It's looking very useful for practice and colour grading. So let's get into it. We're going to start off by selecting our clip and going into the colour tab. That's where we're going to do everything. Now DaVinci has so many tools and makes it really Really, really easy to color grade so you won't have any problems uh, I'm gonna go through the basics I'm not gonna touch on power windows or qualifiers too much or tracking or any of that stuff first of all we want to right click and go to add node we're gonna add a serial node and nodes are basically just adjustment layers you can apply effects on them without affecting the original clip which is very useful so we're gonna make sure that the second node is highlighted and we're gonna go to these wheels right here. We've got lift, gamma gain and offset. And basically this is gonna be our primary correction, our first step. And we're just gonna use these wheels to establish the feel that we want. So I'm just gonna change these around. I want this to have a, a warm feel. It looks like the man's giving the woman a sunflower or the woman's giving it to the man, I don't know. Um, we're just gonna, ooh, the offset is very sensitive. So I'm just gonna play around with these until I find a nice warm feeling and that is looking good now we can also go over here to these three dots press the second one and we'll get bars so we can adjust it like this instead which you may find easier so I'm just gonna just gonna darken it a little bit I'm gonna bring down the greens a bit and that is looking good it's looking very warm now we can go on to this curves tab here which is a sixth along and we've got a lot of different curves to go through we've got custom we've got hue versus hue hue versus saturation hue versus luminance luminance versus saturation so this curve lets you change luminance and color uh, however you want pretty much so i could make it darker in the bottom area and then lighter in the top area and really make it pop but obviously that's way too far so i'm going to bring these back to normal i am going to create a slight s shape right here to make it pop and that is looking good. If you want, you can save the work you've done on this node and go and then, sorry, my tripod's in the way, so I'm leaning, add node and then add another serial. And these nodes can be changed and moved around however you want to change them. So Resolve is great for that. So you're gonna highlight the node you wanna work on and then just go through and change around whichever colors you wish to. Now, as you can see, if I move this whole line down, it goes really flat. If I bring this whole line up, it goes really colorful. So you can just move this entire line up if you wanna create that instant warm feeling or if you want to be a bit more precise you can add multiple points and be specific about which colors you really want the saturation to increase on so i'm thinking this is looking good now this hue versus loom if we bring it all the way down you can see that all the highlights have been collapsed to make it look as flat as possible if you bring it up the highlights are all expanded the sunflower is bright yellow so maybe if you want to increase the brightness of the sunflower we could create some points around the yellow and then just bring it up and as you can see the yellow the sunflower is decreasing and increasing in brightness so maybe if you want to make the sunflower a bit more yellow we can increase it like so luminance versus saturation as you can see what happens when i bring the whole line up compared to the whole line down so all these curves are pretty similar but they really help you to tighten up the image and now if i go into this original curve i can just complete it by maybe increasing up there and then decreasing down here just to add the final the overall sort of polished look and there we have it if we go back into the edit tab you can see the difference you can see what we've created so it's gone from this to this look at that difference look at that and all i did was play around with some wheels and bars it's as simple as that you can do it too so go out there have a wonderful time color grading your footage and making it look beautiful